What answer did you give them, my lord Adrian? <laughs> Perhaps he did not have an answer. Oh, I've never found Lord Edric to be at a loss for words. <laughs> I confess, sire, that in this case it's true. I had no ready answer. No, because it's always easier to be wise after the fact. Oh God, I assumed he welcomed the opportunity for martyrdom. Or do you disagree? Oh, no, sire. All of the cloth would welcome martyrdom in the cause of our faith, service of our Lord Jesus Christ. Good, because I'm going to offer you precisely that same opportunity. Oh, hmm. It's times like this I miss our friend Arna. He would always make us laugh, even in the darkest moments. Now he's making the gods laugh. That's why they took him from us. Jealous. And I will tell you again. My God is Odin, the All Father. I know you told me. Only, I don't believe you. And this? Ragnar gave me this. Wearing a dog turd doesn't make you a dog. Oh, the hand of your holy man. Uh. <laughs> Here is a real treasure. Earth, have you not seen? Everywhere we go, there are crops. There is food growing. I am a farmer. I'm the son of a farmer. And this is what I understand. Compared to our poor countries where it is hard to farm, hard to live. Here. It comes in handy that he's a farmer. Marriage? Playing it up like if she's gonna as if she's no, gonna die. Not a good not there, not a second time. Let me taste oh. the wine. I don't think it's gonna happen. <coughs> oh he <coughs> He's just fooling, isn't he? <coughs> That's good enough. Score! <laughs> <laughs> I have to do something about this insult. Frankly, I blame King Harald more for what has happened. But at the same time, consider what is happening to Earl Ragnar's lands. He has abandoned them. Yes, I knew. His wife and He's going to attack it. In order to punish those who have insulted me in my I family. knew it. I knew it. Was that Edric? Edric? Was it the other guy in the bathtub? Holy Church at Winchester, he wonders how much longer you intend to remain in his kingdom. Well, that uh, depends. Upon what? He's learned their language by right what he'll offer us. To leave. I will relay your message to the king. <laughs> You're playful. Peter, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> was that Edry, or was it the other guy? Not hungry, Bjorn. Any reason? No reason. Are you unhappy? What can I do to make you happy? That wasn't the husband, right? Shall I raid one of my unsuspecting neighbors so you can show off your fighting skills? 
and maybe slaughter them all. Get away from all this. Saxon is very good for so Bjorn. People doing everything for us. I want to know what is essential to life. What is really important? Will you let me? No, of course not. I am the Earl here. Hmm. Treachery. Please don't tell me he's drunk. He got a fight. I got a bad feeling someone's gonna die either. Siggy, Rollo. Rollo, what is it? What is happening? Yalborg. He has come back to attack us. Yalborg. I'm sure it is him. Ragnar and King Horik broke their agreement with him. He has returned to gain his revenge. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to fight. What are you doing? What does it look like? Not you. You are not a shield, maiden. You're not. Agatha. Siggy, I need you to go back to the Great Hall. Find Princess Arslaug and her children and take them up into the mountains. And then what? Wait. For what? I got a feeling that Rollo's gonna die and they'll flee. Uber, Witzerk, and Sigurd. Yeah. Taking out of quite a few in the beginning. Kid. Y'all board was Rollo. Oh fuck. Go. Use ranged weapons and stuff. To try and save the sons of Ragnar. Surrender! Don't already go on. Come on. Let me speak for the gods, for I will shortly join them in their bright halls. But you, you have other work to do here. Go. Oh. I will tell the gods what you have done. I got chills from that. <laughs> oh shit. I mean, he. 
The, the, Ragnar, those guys are doing awful things too, so I don't know. It was a smart move, tactical. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad that Aslog and those three kids, I think their names are Uber, um, Wit Wit Witzberg, and then Sigurd now after uh, her father, and then Sigi also. Um, I'm glad that those, those five survived. And I think they kind of just, you know, put a bit more other people in there to, you know, it would be con pretty convenient if it had only been those five and then Rallo, so there'd be six people just going around. There were probably about like 12, 12 people just now um, left. They, they, they slaughtered the whole village. Now they only got Ragnar, his fighters and those 12 people. Um, and that's almost no women, so it's really important to, that some of the women survive so they can bear children and they can continue with their people. Um, but yeah, in general, a really good episode. They also showed us Bjorn. Uh, right at first when we saw Lagatha, I didn't even think of it. Can't remember what happened um, right before that, but he, he obviously it's another actor because, you know, he's four years later and you can't just wait four years to make us in the middle of a series, but he was a very good actor. Um, he, not, not just because he's a good actor, but he seemed like Bjorn, uh, the way he speak and stuff as well. Um, and also his attitude kind of, you know, he, he, he's not annoying in any kind of way for me because I know him. Um, but like I said, is with another, um, Earl now, which I don't, I don't even get his name. I don't think I did. Sigvat. I think that was Sigvat. Sigvel. I think that was his name. Um, and you know, I don't know what's going to happen there. I mean could be funny if he just left and fi found Rolo in the mountains uh, because he, he's on, in the mountains now and he wanted to live there even though he wasn't permitted I still think he would do something like that and it's probably hard for him you know having another father now he should probably have stayed with Ragnar in my opinion uh, and he, he might regret it now I don't know I'm just trying to think of it as you know from his point of view because if he'd stayed there he wouldn't be like laughed at all the time I feel as if you know when they were eating he was just he didn't really care uh, about the others because they were just laughing at him making fun of him I feel as if that was kind of the way this was going I had like two huge fights I mean not a huge fight in in Winchester um, but we had a, a huge fight in the end um, you know unfair odds both of the fights we had a massive amount of Vikings attacking a few guards and then we had a massive amount of Jarl Borg's men attacking elderly guys and Rollo and some of the younger kids, um, which was awful. You know, we saw kids dying pretty much. They slaughtered everyone. I don't know. They might have taken a couple of prisoners. Um, and we saw a little more to uh, Egbert, I think he's called. Um, and I'm kind of, you know, we had the fat guy I wrote down. He's, his name is Bishan. And he's like also one of those religious figures. And then we had the, another guy called Edric, I think. Edric, Edric. Um, who, who they said he was speaking much, but he didn't have anything anything to say at this point. And I got a question: Was that the guy who died, um, or was it the guy you know, um, in the in the bath bathtub, which was sitting next to him? Because there were two, two there was two guys who looked kind of kind of alike. Um, I don't know which one of them it was. I think it might have been Edric. Edric. Um, I don't even know if that's his name. I only heard it briefly once, so yeah, bear over me with me if that's not the case and then we had Athelstan killing a monk just you know it, it felt as if it was more reflex because he kind of he, he was reg 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 regretting it in the end um right after he did it actually and he ended the old man's sufferings who was um there's so many names here I don't know if you heard his name um but yeah, he was surprised you know all these languages all these languages there's only two but like when you hear it from uh, one character's point of view um, so we hear like when we're hearing it from the English people's point of view it's like we hear Ragnar those guys speaking their subtitles and you know of course opposite as well which was kind of nice um, and yeah I don't know it, it was a very good episode but Floki and Athelstan pretty much got a, you know Floki doesn't trust Athelstan at all I feel like because he was a Christian and Athelstan says he is I um, a Viking and his father's Oaken, Odin. So I won't bring up that he four years ago when he was in danger was holding his cross. Um, so he, he might have changed over these last four years. And we certainly saw some of that in this episode. Even though he spared that old man for some sufferings. He probably would have, you know, 
four years ago did maybe he might have done something else there not killing people and stuff like that even though i think it was a mistake he did that uh, also from his own point of view um and we saw that he we, we saw we heard about someone called shallow shallow man or something uh who had an empire or something which y'all know king Egbert was a part of and we also saw his son um which was ethel um yeah, there's a lot of new names. I don't know anything about that empire or anything. He was apparently killed in some kind of way. Um, we saw Legatha. We actually know where she is. It was in Hidebu. Uh, that's how you pronounce it, pretty much. Uh, you could say it with an English accent, but she's there. Um, and yeah, she, she's probably... I can't imagine she's too far away from Kattegat. So she probably is, you know, in the city next to, or not in the city maybe, but the next Jarl beside them uh maybe the next y'all next to goodland where y'all borg is but i don't quite know i'm very excited to see the next couple episodes and i'm very excited i'm very glad that first of all as kid survived uh, it would have been awful if ragnar come back everyone was dead his brother his wife his wife's his wife and then his kids um but yeah as i said it's probably going to be a big problem with the wives not the wives with the, with the um with the woman now as all I think all of them died uh, who made the last stand but they might have taken some prisoners I'm, I'm kind of curious to see most of that uh, but yeah see you guys in my next video if you want more vikings content please leave a like and comment down in the uh, comments what your favorite scene was from this episode and see you guys in my next video bye